This is going to be my review of Being John Malkovich for the SourceFed Nerd Movie Club. Yet another film that I've already seen and didn't like the first time. Being John Malkovich came out in 1999 and is directed by Spike Jones. It stars John Cusack, Katherine Keener, and Cameron Diaz. Oh, and of course, John Malkovich as John Malkovich. I found this film to be mostly boring. There are two moments when it's interesting. One, when John Malkovich becomes John Malkovich. That was kind of odd. And two, the action sequence between Katherine Keener and Cameron Diaz, where they fall through various places in John Malkovich's subconscious. The rest of the movie is boring. It is a husband and a wife who fight over a woman and find a portal into John Malkovich's self. John Cusack plays a puppeteer who is out of work and is basically a loser. Cameron Diaz plays his wife and works with animals like a chimpanzee and dogs and birds and iguanas and ferrets. Cameron Diaz, I think, does some of her best work here, though, despite not liking the movie because she's not prettied up, she doesn't play someone sexy, and she basically has to go off of her acting and not her looks, which I think for actors and actresses is much harder. I would say the funniest thing in this film is the fact that the portal is in an office building in between the 7th and 8th floor, and you can only get to the office by pressing the alarm button in between 7 and 8 and using a crowbar to pull the doors open. So here's the thing. The film is ugly. It's not pretty to watch. Several films ago, we watched There Will Be Blood. And while I didn't like that for completely different reasons than I dislike this, at least it was pretty. There's nothing pretty about this film. I barely had time to watch this because I'm doing NaNoWriMo this month, and um, I'm kind of bummed that I wasted some of my free time doing it. I can appreciate the concept because the concept is really good. The number of times that while watching this, I thought to myself, this could have been really interesting, is unbelievable. I'm actually really disappointed because I thought maybe that by giving this a second chance and watching it again months after I'd seen it the first time that maybe I would like it more. But it turns out, no. I also don't think it's funny. Very little of it has any humor at all. It's mostly a broken man who falls in love after he's already married and the woman rejects him for his wife. And they're all cheating on each other by using John Malkovich. I mean, that might sound interesting, but it's sad. If you would like, here are some recommendations. If you would like to watch John Cusack in something that's really good, watch High Fidelity. If you would like to see Cameron Diaz in something excellent, watch Vanilla Sky. Or if you think she's hot, watch Charlie's Angels. If you would like to see Katherine Keener in something excellent, watch The 40-Year-Old Virgin or Capote. And if you would like to see the namesake of this film, John Malkovich in something excellent, watch either The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or Burn After Reading. Both excellent, funny films. So that's pretty much all I had to th say about it. I hope that I redeemed it a little bit by at least giving some recommendations to things that didn't suck. I would like to point out, for those of you paying attention, that I did finally change the calendar in the background. Huh? You see that? It's on the right month now, two months later. That's pretty much all I have to say. What did you think of the film? I'd like to know. Thank you for watching. I hope you are having an excellent day, and I will see you later. You just watched Stephanie talk. Don't forget to tell her what you thought. Share and like, maybe subscribe. Stephanie was